Alright guys, in this video, I'll discuss top gainer stock and trading opportunity. And uh, right now here you can see this is the Nifty. So let me explain about Nifty. So as I said yesterday that Nifty, we are looking for short after breaking the level of 1.4. Uh, I think uh, 2.3.0, I think you remember. So finally here you can see price just broke this uh, supporting line. And and the next the support is 137030 uh, so as i given yesterday so let's see in a small time frame and our trade opportunity so somewhere here if you wanna see in a 15 minute uh, chart and price broke uh, this level 14230 and price gap down and uh, after that you can see price pull back and again retrace have you seen and finally we have seen on the bearish candle so we know every uh, when price break like this is the support uh, let's see this is the support all right uh, when price break the support and again price pull back uh, near the supporting line now it should be coming a raise then and we are looking for or you can say we are using price action uh, uh we are using price action method to enter in this market all right so now similarly here you can see uh, price drop now i can see price uh we have seen bullish candle bullish candle and the bullish candle finally we have seen this is the pin bar and we place sell order and you can see pr uh, price continue to at the downside if you're not seeing a small time frame like uh, five minutes so let me zoom a little more yeah now i can see here <laughs> uh price open neck gap down and pull back they act as a resistance now 20 moving average and that is our sell opportunity so means we are looking for short till the level of uh, let me show you yeah uh, 13730 so we are using bouncing trading strategy now like here you can see they are bouncing 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 like the bouncing so some moving average would be somewhere here now this, that uh that is the nifty and the, let's check it uh top gainer stocks uh, first uh, here you can see this uh this one mahindra tech mahindra let's jump to tech mahindra now you can see tech mahinda they are uh, creating higher high and higher low have you seen higher high higher low and exactly bullish pin bar bullish confirmation so next the resistance uh let me draw by connecting 200 exponential moving average at most recent swing point so here you can see most recent swing point all right so let's see yeah now i can see here so means it is a probability to retest the level of one zero zero uh three all right let's say one zero zero round figure now 97 okay sorry this is a 15 minute time frame let me show you daily time frame first we must find out mm, okay let me remove it's all okay now you can see uh tech mahinda is running an uptrend in a daily time frame all right and uh, they are bouncing off uh, specific moving averages all right now you can see here so yesterday we have seen this a bullish candle so it is a probability to continue toward the upside so that is why we're looking for buy uh, uh, h4 chart uh, most of the people are thinking hey they're creating lower low lower high uh, let's go for short but that is a wrong concept now you can see uh, so like that uh, now you can see uh, most of the people are thinking hey this is creating lower low lower high let's go for short but don't do this mistake all right and in that case we are looking for buy and we will draw a trend line and we are just waiting for breakout so this one trend line and we are looking for a breakout 
so once they break this level so definitely we will go for buy all right we are looking for uh break the level of uh, let's say thousand all right so in that case we will use breakout trading strategy okay next stocks uh sbi life insurance something like that mm, sbi and SBI. so still i'm not added this one so leave it so next uh, we pro let's check it with pro yeah this one with pro and uh, let's check it uh, daily chart now price uh, running in a sideway with pro so here you can see price are running in a sideway and in that case uh, we are looking for a breakout so right now here you can see and most of the people are thinking hey let's go for buy but i'm not interested to buy now at least i need a breakout so this range all right so this is the we pro range and most of the people are thinking hey let's go for buy here bullish candle it will continue but i'm not interested so they are forming as their uh, air range right so i need a breakout this range okay let's check it another stocks uh, itc okay itc let's see itc itc all right uh daily time frame now you can see itc running in a range so this is the actual range mm, okay let me throw the range so when they are forming this type of range it is a uh, uh, we are trading in options so we are using iron condor trading strategy so it, i think you people know so i love this market range all right uh, we are using iron condor when price are running now you can see itc is running in a range like that and when price retraces back to this level so we are looking for buy and we'll close somewhere here all right if price break this uh, resistance line so again we place buy order all right now let's just jump to small time frame to get a trade opportunity all right now you can see uh in a small time frame uh they are running in a downtrend but price uh, middle of this range so this is the actual range uh in the large uh, ma market range or oh, sorry time frame but price are somewhere here middle of the range so i'm not interested when price will pull back to this level so we are looking for buy and when price will break this level so we are looking for buy again all right so that is the method because we never enter blindly okay next uh, is power grid and uh, let's see it power grid power grid okay small time frame they are running in a downtrend and large uh, medium time frame <coughs> running in a downtrend and large time frame they are running in a uptrend so in that case uh, we are using uh, that is called um, uh, we are applying trend divergent trading strategy so now you can see when uh, so let me tell you one thing one secret so most of the people are doing when uh, 15 minute time frame trend is up h1 time frame trend is up daily time frame trend is up so in that case we are looking for buy only remember okay if 15 minute down h1 down daily down we are looking for short now in uh, in that case here you can see uh 15 minute down all right 
H1 down and daily up. So, so when uh, three time frame and they are showing differently at the time, we are focusing on daily time frame only, daily time frame direction. And 15 and H1, we are applying trend divergence trading strategy means our trend is running in a downtrend in a small time frame and we are looking for buy specific level why we are looking for buy because in a large time frame trend is up all right so remember now let me show you how we apply now i can see daily time frame up they are bouncing off uh, 50 they are bouncing off 50 right now price are near 50 moving average have you make sense so it is a probability to bounce again but in a small time frame they are running in a downturn now what do i'll do i'll draw a supporting level so where is the supporting line and now question is that most of the people are thinking hey is it a support yeah that is also and what is the most uh reliable support somewhere here all right so we are trying to connect multiple tassels point somewhere here somewhere here somewhere here and here and right now 189 is a act as a support okay so now you can see uh, in a large time frame, this is called correction. So, price create a new high, pull back, create a new high, and the pull back. And there is a probability to create a new high in a large time frame. All right. Now, see small time frame like H1 running in a down frame. They are running in a down frame. Price are running below 1200 exponential moving average. But right now, here I can see um, right just above this supporting line. Now, let's see here something uh, here. So, let me show you divergence. Now, in that case, we are using uh, RSI 14 period. All right. So, let's see here. So now you can see according to the price action method, they are creating lower low and the lower high. Have you make sense? So lower low and lower high. So this is called wide divergence. Now I'm gonna use uh, this uh, RSI and this two low point. Now you can see I'm gonna connect this two point. Have you make sense? So let me show you here. So this is the lower point and this is the another lower point. So similarly, I connected these two lower points. So let's see what happened okay now you can see uh, this is the rsi they are pointing toward upside all right the rsi are not able to create lower low but price are creating a lower low so this is called when they are forming this type of pattern it's a probability to change the trend now what is the trend trend is a downtrend in a small time frame all right small time frame trend is a downtrend but according to the rsi they are diverging it is a, it is a probability to change the trend all right and it is a probability to continue that toward the upside now big question where is my anti point my anti point will be here just here on a connect this point and uh, i need a breakout so somewhere here if price break this level so that that is my anti point so i uh, hope people doesn't know about that one you just uh watch my video already i mentioned how to use divergence trading you strategy all right that would be my anti point and now a uh, last one uh, let's see hcl tech mm. HCL tech 
okay this one so i think yesterday we was uh, uh waiting for no 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 not that one so let's see here hgl tech uh daily first you must know the daily support and raise then now you can see this is the daily and they are running in a downtrend but yesterday a uh, little more uh, so now you can see this is a bullish candle but not that much so i'm not looking for buy and at least uh, i need a pullback to the level of 903 so so i'm not interested to trade in hcl attack so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching